Today I want to beat the extreme program. The final boss is on Legend versus Jacob DeGrom. We have eight mini bosses, including Aroldis Chapman, Paul Skeens, Randy Johnson, Rob Dibble, among some others. So we're going to go ahead and draft our team. We're facing righties and lefties, that final boss being a righty. But I kind of need a well-rounded team for this. If I'm not mistaken, the first guy we face is going to be the 99 Paul Skeens. Oh, man. I really want Shohei, but I really want Ronald. I'm going to I'm gonna pick Ronald just because I want to try this card. I've never used him before, so we're going to start with the MVP, Ronald Acuna Jr. Ooh, probably not Gallo with the low vision. I think I'm going to go Mark McGuire here. Big Mac, I think, is who we want. Max Power versus each side. Probably want to try to grab some switch hitters today if we can as well. I think that'll be good. Vision helps you with your timing windows. So playing on higher difficulty, I think I want some higher vision. I'm going to grab Jason Hayward. Probably stick him lower in my lineup versus lefties, but higher versus righties. I do want some switch hitters. Hey, let's grab Tony Clark. I love Matt Holiday, and I'm sure some of these other swings are good. But, oh, wait, but, dude, Tony Clark is really tall. 6'7 versus 6'4". I like Tony Clark. I'm going to grab Tony Clark here. And Cal Raleigh could be a switch hitter. A little bit lower on the vision. We probably want higher contact versus each side. Somebody like David Justice could be really good. But Cal Raleigh could be great versus righties, especially with that power. Man, th like we, these are some tough choices for me. I think I'm going to go with David Justice, though. I think we're going to try David Justice right there. Any switch hitters here doesn't look like it. Aaron Nola was feeling good for me in the most recent events. Randy Johnson has got some good contact numbers, but a little bit of reverse splits. I think I'm better righty righty. Oh, I think I'm going to go Aaron Nola here because I know that I like his swing. Ooh. Okay, do I want Shohei or do I want Juan Soto? I think I want Juan Soto. Cattell Marte though too. I think I'm going to grab... Oh man, I think I'm going to grab Cattell Marte, another switch hitter. But he's just going to be way better versus lefties. I don't think you could go wrong. Trey Turner, dude, you can't go wrong in this round. I'm going to grab a switch hitter, though, with Cattell Marte. Um, I kind of want a Juan Soto card. So I, I think we should be able to get more than one of certain players, maybe. But I also, if not, I would want a 99 Juan Soto instead of his live series. But I think I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab Juan Soto here. That might be dumb based on like later rounds, but we'll grab him. Rally time for my first perk. Looking for hero time. We don't see it, so we'll grab lead off magic. And first guy we're facing is Paul Skeens on All-Star. For my lineup today, I think I'm going in order of highest to lowest contact. I'm not going to necessarily go hand in this, but highest to lowest contact versus that hand in this pitcher facing the righty, Paul Skeens. Starting on All-Star difficulty, eventually gets up to Hall of Fame, then the final boss on Legend. We got a runner on first base, and we have to score five before recording 15 outs. Oh, beautiful. Jason Hayward homer. I needed that. I had a deep fly out with Ronald. Jason Hayward hits it. I think, wait, was that out of the stadium? Ooh. Okay, so we just got to score three more runs, and we beat this first mini boss. First of eight mini bosses before you get to the final boss. Seems kind of crazy. I'm very late so far, even on Hall of Fame, I'm, or no, even on All-Star. I'm late versus Paul Skeen's triple-digit fastballs so far. That might be gone. Tony Clark, back-to-back -back homers, huge. See, this is what I need. In showdowns, I need homers to win. That's back-to-back -back ones. Now we just need two more homers. We got 14 outs to try to do that. We had a double with... Uh, Dude, I don't even remember who it was. We had a double with somebody. And then Aaron Nola drives him in with another double. So all we got to do is drive in Aaron Nola from scoring position. And we have 13 outs to do that. And we got this first mini boss done. Every mini boss that you beat, you upgrade your team so it gets better. So that's going to be really helpful too. Cattell Marte, could he get it done? Oh, and Cattell Marte walk off homer. There's no way that's foul. Hey, there we go. So home runs carry me for sure. We beat Paul Skeens. 13 outs to go. This one is only an all-star though. I think we have one more on All-Star before we get to Hall of Fame, maybe. And I'm just a little bit scared to get to the Hall of Fame difficulty ones because I was feeling late on his fastballs on All-Star right there. But we get another diamond hitter, 2024 All-Star. Would love to see a 99 pop up. Ooh, we might, I don't know, man. I kind of want to try to hold out for the 50-50 for the Shohei. 
Ellie De La Cruz, 57 vision scares me. Marcus Semien has 104 vision. It's either going to be Marcus Semien or Shohei for me. I think I got to go Shohei. I'm going to go Shohei, put him in for Dane Myers in my number nine spot. I think that's going to be a good move. I was hoping to see hero time right here, but exit velocity boost and two strike counts, that can really be helpful if I'm trying to work counts. Maybe watching until two strikes if I get deep in a showdown, trying to draw walks, get runners on base, everything like that. Next up, all-star difficulty versus Randy Johnson, a lefty. I'm going to move my lineup around a little bit. Facing Randy Johnson, we're down by two. We have 12 ounce to score three. Nobody starts on base. I need some home runs for sure. Oh, that's huge. So I struck out with Cattell Marte. He dotted up the corner. Just it was a beautiful pitch from Randy. Tony Clark hits a homer. Two more of those and we got it done. But already, like, you have 12 ounce. I'm down to 11. Like, I'm feeling slightly stressed already. Aaron Nola. I told you I love his swing. 102 contact, 83 power, and he just smashed a dead center off of Randy Johnson. Yeah. We have 10 outs to score one run, but I'm to the four lefties in a row portion of my lineup, which scares me a little bit. That feels good. Now we got to drive him in. I kind of wish I had a pinch runner on the bench. Shohei. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be caught. Okay, I'm sending the runner to third. Shohei's going to second, so we're going to have two guys in scoring position at 10 outs to get him 90 feet. How hard could that be? These perfect perfects are feeling real nice, too. I know I'm only on All-Star. We're not even to Hall of Fame yet, but I'm feeling decent at the plate. And there's another one. Nice. Three lefty-lefty perfects in a row versus Randy Johnson. We got that one done. First two have felt good, but again, these are All-Star. We're not to the Hall of Fame difficulty ones yet. Those are where it's going to be real hard and let's see the next player we get this one is a success we're at two out of eight completed we get a season one chapter three boss batter oh man uh i don't really want another lefty because i got a lot in my lineup already dude i don't know uh i guess eric davis is i think Whit merrifield Either Ryan Ludwig or Wet Merrifield. And I'm, I am don't know, man. Ryan Ludwig, 110, 99 for the contact numbers, but 125, 109 for the contact numbers. 89 vision versus 102. I think I'm going to go... I mean, Eric Davis has... He doesn't have bunting, but he's got speed. It wouldn't, I should try to get a drag bunter at some point, too. That's something I got to think about. I think I'm going to go Wet Merrifield, though, instead of Ryan... Actually, Ryan Ludwig's got the power. Oh, I'm going to go Ryan Ludwig. I don't know if that's dumb, but I'm choosing him here. We finally got a hero time perk, and the next boss we're facing is going to be another lefty, this time Anthony Rizzo. But now, for this and the final six mini bosses, we are on Hall of Fame difficulty. Facing Anthony Rizzo, we're down by three runs, nobody on base. 16 outs to score four hall of fame difficulty and it's the 99 starting pitcher version of rizzo by the way it's not like some live series card or some bum version it's a 99 overall starting pitcher i hit a double into the gap with Cattell Marte, and then tony clark gets an rbi single so if i could somehow hit a homer we haven't made an out yet and we tie it up if maybe ronald acuna jr could go yard and i forgot to put a pinch runner on my bench again and he grounds into a double play. That's exactly what I didn't need. 103 off the bat. And it's still a double play, man. That is tragic. And David Justice, lefty, lefty goes yard. I hate that we had a double play because that would have tied it up. 13 outs now to score two more runs. Let's try to go lefty, lefty again. We've actually been doing better lefty, lefty than I thought we would be today. I needed that. Ryan Ludwig, perfect, perfect on base. Anything but a double play, and we're chilling. But a home run wins it for us. 10 outs to go. Could tell Marte, max contact and power versus righties. Anything except a double play. Not a double. That might, no, I'm sending the runner. That's not going to be caught. It's gone. Huge. Okay. Didn't even get down to single digit outs. Our first Hall of Fame difficulty boss. I felt pretty good on that one as well. Three of the six, but wait, no, it's three of the eight. No, we have eight bosses. Three of eight. I'm not even halfway. Oh man, I really hope we just get this done my first try. I want this to be a one and done. I do not want to fail the extreme showdown at all.
Who do we want here? I love Tim Raines. I'm a big Tim Raines fan. Duke Snyder would be a lefty. I think I'm going to go Tim Raines, though. 99 speed, max cut. Yeah, no, this, this is going to be great. I love having Tim Raines on my team. I love that card. We'll grab him. And yes, we got the uh, the Diamond Hero Time. Probably my favorite perk in Showdowns. Significant exit velocity boost in the 7th inning or later. It is always the 7th inning or later. And I'm going to replace Rally Time. Well, actually... I'm going to replace down, but not ounce. Because most of the time, we're just going to be losing. If I'm tied, I mean, I would want to work two strike counts. But I think hero time replacing the two strike one would be better overall. Next up, facing a righty. Once again, the last one we faced was Paul Skeens. Facing Bob Gibson on Hall of Fame. And versus Bob Gibson on Hall of Fame, we start with runners on the corners. We have 18 outs to score seven. We need seven runs on Hall of Fame versus Bob Gibson. But they're giving us 18 outs. And Tim Raines goes yard. I was looking for something down the middle until two strikes. We got it. 6-3 on my first batter. Now we just need four more runs. 18 outs to do so. That's huge, man. Oh, that is such a satisfying feeling right there. And then Ronald with the base hits. And I love that for showdown and then once we do the moments too, I love that there's a limit of two mound, uh, mound visits. Two pickoffs per batter, man. That's going to be so nice. With 99 speed, or 99 stealing and 94 speed, I'm tempted with Ronald to steal. I think I'm going to wait one more pitch just because we're probably getting a fastball 1-0 here. So I'm not going to steal yet, but we'll wait for something to hit. Just don't want to ground into a double play. 2-1-0, I'm still going to be stealing here, man. If I, if I get caught, I get caught. But 18 outs, I don't mind risking it one time versus Bob Gibson. Should get a great jump. There we go. Beautiful. It's a fastball, but he's in there easily. And that's ball four to Hayward. Okay, so if Shohei hits a homer like uh, like Tim Raines did, then we're tied 6-6 six, six in this showdown. I don't even think I've made an out yet. Oh, that's a big hit from Ryan Ludwig. I'm sending the runner to third just to have runners on the corners. A home run, and we get it done. I have my number nine hitter, Aaron Nola, coming up. Then we get the top of the lineup back around. 14 outs to try to score three more on Hall of Fame versus Bob Gibson. I thought Tim Raines went yard again. It should score a run, so that'll make it 6-5. to five. Almost warning track power here. Run scores easily. I just don't want to ground into a double play. We have the tying run on base, so a home run would win it for us. I really can't afford to ground into a double play at this point, man. 12 ounce to go. Hall of Fame difficulty. Need two more runs. And Ronald goes yard. 101. Turns on the inside pitch. And we beat Bob Gibson. That's four of eight mini bosses halfway through these little bosses. Ronald's going crazy. Whole team's going crazy. Feels good to get that one done. I think we had, what, 12 ounces remaining? 11, something like that. We should get another diamond player, another diamond perk. We get a Team Affinity Season 3 Chapter 2 hitter. So that should be one of the Retro Finest Series cards. Who do we want? I think maybe Justin Morneau. I mean, we got a lot of lefties, but like... It's either gonna be uh, it's gonna be Justin Morneau or Jason Bay. I don't really want Joey Gallo or Dalton Varsho. Oh man, I guess I think I'm gonna go Justin Morneau here. Six four versus six two. The bigger strikes one I don't think will make much of a difference, but I like that higher vision and the higher power versus righties. Even though it's a little bit lower contact, I like having that higher power. And we are going to do. I either want diamond down but not ounce or lead off magic. Um, I guess I'm going to do down, but not out here. I'm going to get diamond down, but not out. And I'm going to replace, uh, I'm going to replace the rally time one. I think so we have two diamond perks. Now next boss we're facing is another lefty, a Roldis Chapman. One of my hardest pitchers to face facing a Roldis Chapman hall of fame difficulty. We have nobody on base. All we need to do is score one run. We have nine outs to score one run. A home run, we got it done. It's that easy. It's that easy. Easier said than done for sure. All we got to do is score one. I'm tempted, man, with somebody that's fast to maybe bunt and try to get on base. We only got nine outs. Almost took out a Roldis Chapman. 61 speed on first. This is where I'm doing a pinch runner, man. We have 61 speed on first. Thank you, Tony Clark. You did your job. And now we have 90 speed, I guess, Shohei. Yeah, we'll do the 90 speed Shohei, put him in there. So we have another good bat too, I guess. But Shohei, 
is going to be replacing Tony Clark. And I'm te I'm tempted to steal. What's his, what's his stealing rating? 95. I'm tempted to steal, but I'm scared we would get thrown out too. And I'm tempted to bunt to try to bunt him over. I think I'm going to try stealing. I hope I don't regret this, but I think I'm going to try it here. 90 speed, 95 stealing. Oh, that's a great jump, I think. My heart was beating the whole time he was running to second base. All we got to do is score him from scoring position. How hard could that be? Eight ounce to try to do it. I'm tempted to try to bunt him over as well. I thought Ronald just walked it off. We're early on 101 off of Chapman. There's no way I'm bunting with two strikes either. And Ronald walks it off. There we go. Okay. So we only made one out. Nice. We have five of the eight mini bosses completed. I'm feeling good today, man. I'm feeling good today. We got some hard pitchers that we still got to face, but Aroldis Chapman is one of the hardest for me. Randy Johnson, we already faced him as well, so I'm feeling pretty good so far. We get some runs. We get another card, another perk. We should have three diamond perks now. Diamond Retro Finest Collection Hitter. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dude, do I want Alfonso? Do I want Trout? I think Trout. I love Mike Trout, man. All we have left is Roy Holiday, Rob Dibble, Adam Adovino, Jacob DeGrom. We only have right-handed pitchers left. Now, Mike Trout does have max contact versus righties, but I need to keep in mind I'm on the next four pitchers, final four pitchers, only right-handed pitchers. So we need to just load up on guys that are good versus righties. And I think I'm going to go Trout's as nice as Cody Bellinger would be. Maybe we'll be able to get him later on, but I'm going to go Mike Trout right here. The max contact versus righties. I think next up might be Rob Dibble, but we'll check in just a second. And I guess we're going to do leadoff magic. Significant exit weights. Yeah, 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 yeah. Significant exit velocity boost with no runners on base. We'll probably just go ahead and put that in for the other hero time and hope that it comes in handy. I'd rather have significant than just normal exit velo boost. And we're going to be facing Roy Holiday up next. All right, time to face Roy Holiday. We are on Hall of Fame. The rest of them are on Hall of Fame. We have six runs we need to score, 18 outs. Nobody starts on base. Ronald. Oh, 94 speed. He beats the sound. If I'm gunned, I'm going to be mad. Yeah, there we go. Huge. On base. Anything but a double play. Anytime I'm getting somebody on first, I just don't want to ground into a double play. This is my first time using this Mike Trout card here. That's huge. No, it's not. I'm going to send the runner. We have five more runs I need to score. 11 outs to do so. I'm struggling versus Roy Holiday, man. Ronald got on base, and then I stole second. Wild pitch got him to third, but I've had a few strikeouts. Like, I am struggling versus Roy Holiday right now, man. I am really having a hard time. This has been rough. But we got on base again. Probably not going to pinch run here, but I need to do everything in my power to avoid a double play. I cannot afford two outs on one swing. It just, it, it really can't happen. It's a double play. I have eight outs to score five runs. Oh my God. This, I, I've made it so far. I've made it so far. I can't fail now, man. Come on. We got to clutch up. Huge. Okay. We only need four more of those. Mike Trout goes yard. Still eight ounce to go. I just need to keep doing that, man. That's all I need to do. And we got this one done. But I am feeling the most stressed that I have this entire showdown. Three and two to Jason Hayward. I'm okay with drawing a walk. It's ball four. Okay, that's huge. Okay, really. Anything but a double play. Please, please, please. I hope it's gone. I don't think it is. Otani, please. Max power. Good timing. It's gone. Let's go. Otani. Okay. Now we just need two more runs. Eight ounce to try to score two more. Here we go, baby. And Tony Clark lines out. That's so tough to see. That one. No, 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 no. Oh, that was such a good AB. I can't believe I struck out. Oh my God, dude. I'm down to my final five ounce. We got to score two with five. Wait. We got to score two with five. Justin Morneau on base, a home run, and we beat Roy Holiday. Please, God, let me go yard here. Top of my lineup coming up, Tim Raines. I need something huge. It's a double play? No! Three ounce to score two. Okay, now I'm officially extremely stressed. And two ounce... Oh my god, maybe I shouldn't be doing righty-righty. Maybe I should load my lineup with lefties. Maybe I should do that. 
Struck out with Trout. Down to my final outs. I have one out to score two. I got to get a hit and a blast or something, man. I'm literally down to my final strike, and I would have to restart the Extreme Showdown. This sucks. Jammed. Oh, my God. We got bailed out by the game. A home run, and we get it done. <gasps> oh, I, I need a homer. Literally, I need a home run. I, I have one out. I can't make an ounce. I need a homer. We have Shohei Otani. Is there anyone I would rather have? He's got max power versus righties. I don't think so. Nah, man. I don't think so. David Justice has slightly better vision, but... Dude, Otani, I need you. You had a homer for me earlier. I need another one. Down to my final ounce. A two-run home run, and we move on. We don't fail. Down to my final strike once again. Oh, my God. And Otani does it! Let's go! Ah, ice in my veins! Oh, my God! One out remaining! Oh, 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 my heart. Oh, my God. Wow. Holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Let's go, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's just crazy. Oh, my God. I can't believe we just did that. Wow. We got bailed by the game. I mean, we had some line outs, though. So, it, it kind of even out. We had some line outs that... Could have fallen for base hits, so I'm okay having a jammed hit. Whew, that's crazy. I can't believe that shit, man. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, so, we know we're facing righties. It's either going to be George Brett or Willie Mays. Oh, Larry Walker, wait. 121, 108, 93. 125, 94, 125. I'm going George Brett all the way. Max vision with max contact. Yeah, he's got a little bit lower power, but nah, man. I, I like George Brett's swing. We're facing only righties. Either him or Larry Walker. I'm choosing George Brett for sure. And rally time, significant exit velocity boost while losing. Yeah, we'll grab that. Rally time is going to be going in for... Oh, man. I think leadoff magic. Because most of the time we're going to be losing. Not necessarily most of the time we'll have no runners on base. We can work two strike counts if we want with down but not out. We have too many bosses to go. I mean, I could always go to legend against DeGrom and we would need to score 12 runs. I don't think I'm going to try that. We're going to be facing Rob Dibble next. Dude, I'm so happy we just clutched that up. We're facing Rob Dibble. We're down by three. We need to score four. The bases are loaded. So a leadoff homer. We get it done. We got 10 outs to try to score four. I don't want to double play. I don't want to play at the plates. I just want a grand slam. I just want to move on to the next one. I cannot get down to my final out again, man. That was way too stressful. I suck using Rob Dibble. And I suck facing him. Actually, let's let's gas ourselves up, bro. I'm killing it. I'm killing it today. He's got four seam slider cutter. So they're either moving in or they're going straight. I'm probably going to start by watching until two strikes. Wait, why does the... Do they have the physical logo over... Yo, that looks awful on the helmet. Did anyone else see what, I'm, what I was seeing for the logo on the helmets? But I'm probably going to be watching until two strikes or a pitch down the middle. I just don't want to... You know, like I said, ground into a double play or something. I know it's down the middle, but I really don't want to ground into a double play or a force play at the plate, anything like that. Not what we wanted. I need to remember he's throwing 103, but at least it's not a double play. Look at the helmet though, man. Am I tripping or is that just lazy by whoever designed the helmets? That's actually crazy to me that... It's like that, but oh, well, it's not that big of a deal, I guess. I'm not looking at the helmets too often, but that just surprises me to see here in 2024. I thought we had the homer. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to send the runners, man. I'm going to send the two runners, try to tag up. 61 speed should get to third. Please don't have me gunned. Okay, throws offline. That's huge. A home run still wins it for us. Still don't want to ground into a double play either. I thought, it, it is, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's 100% gone, 115 power, it's gone. Let's go! That's so much nicer after having that Roy Holiday one. Let's go, Ronald. The extreme card clutches it up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, one mini boss to go before we face the final boss, Jacob deGrom. How many runs do we get towards the final showdown? Because I don't know how many we're going to need on Legend, you know, if, if we beat all the mini bosses. We got four more, so we're up to 18, okay? And we are going to grab probably Chipper Jones, dude. If you guys didn't know, Chipper Jones, one of my favorite cards this year. Online, he is hitting six 
47 for me 12 of his 22 hits are home runs this card is unstoppable max contact versus each side 117 power versus righties is huge yeah griffey's got a little bit more power and a little bit less contact but i, I just can't pass up chipper jones i absolutely love chipper jones so much griffey i've used him it's been pretty good five hits all five of them homers but chipper jones man 647 online 12 of 22 hits homers I can't pass up that card. I'm not going to be using... Yo, massive drag bump boost would actually be good for this. That would actually be really good for this because you could just drag bump with speedy guys and that would be really helpful, especially on like Legend, but then Hall of Fame difficulty too. I don't think I'm going to use that, but we have it just in case I want to. And if we beat this, we'll be sitting at 23 runs. We got to face Adam Adovino, the final mini boss before we get to the Grom. Final mini boss, final Hall of Fame difficulty one. We're down by one. We have 11 outs to score two runs. A bloop and a blast and we get it done. Oh, I'd like to see, I guess it's Adovino, but I'd like to see Coors Field. That's going to be helpful for me for sure too. It hit him. I tried to bunt and they hit me instead. So now a home run wins it. He's got 99 speed and stealing. You best believe I'm going to steal this base, but I'm just going to see the first pitch. Yeah, he did a slide step. I'm still stealing here, man. I think I steal this 10 out of 10 times. 99 speed and stealing. How could I not, right? With Adam Adovino on the mound, I don't think he throws super fast. Easy peasy. There we go. So tying run and scoring position, a home run and we win it. Nine outs to try to score two in Coors Field, Hall of Fame versus Adam Adovino. Ronald had that walk-off last time. 3-0, and oh, you best believe I'm not swinging until two strikes. If he gets on base, we have the winning run on. And look at that, ball four. What? Oh, okay. I, I just, I didn't see the little circle pop up, so I thought it was a ball. I thought it was like way out the zone. I mean, that was easily in the zone. Three and two to Ronald. Uh, I'm okay with ball four, but I'm going to still try to hit it, obviously. And he doesn't get on base. Wow, what a play. 103 off the bat. I was surprised that didn't get through. Still a home run with eight ounce now remaining. A home run. And we move on to the final showdown boss, Jacob deGrom. And Mike Trout goes yard. That's a 500-foot homer here. Actually, probably not, but that's a long home run here at Coors Field. All eight mini bosses done. I feel like the most stressful parts out of the way. For me, obviously, so far, no question it was Roy Holiday. I was not able to hit that man. Maybe I should have done lefties instead. Righty righty was tough, but Shohei Otani, two homers, saved my ass. And now we're on to the final showdown boss. We're gonna have 25 outs to score three runs on legend difficulty. Oh, dude, who do we choose? Stan Musial, max contact and power versus... Or no, max contact, 115 power, but max vision. I love Mickey Mantle swing and the 94 speed. Honestly, like if Stan... Ooh, Ricky Henderson's got 99 speed. But if Stan Musial was a little bit faster, I would easily choose him. But I'm choosing Mickey Mantle here. I know he's got a little bit less contact, but that speed could just really, really, really come in handy for me here. Next perk. Do I want any of these? Nah, not really. So I'm just going to grab a random one. I don't think I'm going to put on the bunt cheese. I don't plan on bunting. I know we get a massive drag bump boost, but it's legend difficulty. It's not impossible. J DeGrom's going to be thrown real fast. We have 25 ounce to score three. How hard could that be? But it is going to be my first time playing legend difficulty today. The rest have been either all-star or the, the most recent ones. I think six Hall of Fame bosses in a row. Nobody's on base. Three runs. 25 ounce legend difficulty and that's how we need to get the extreme showdown done here on my first try i still can't believe that roy holiday one man i'm so happy we didn't fail it right there look at that fastball pieced up i'm surprised it's not a perfect perfect pci right on it good timing and boom already a runner in scoring position not a big chance for a double play here thanks to chipper jones i love that card so much one of if not my favorite cards this entire year wow on legend coming in that fast that sinker that had so much break on it dude i'm not excited to face degrom in ranked seasons holy just off of three pitches i don't think this will be gone and and for me there's no reason to risk tagging up in a situation like this either right like we got now 24 ounce to work with 
Don't take stupid risks. Don't make stupid decisions. Tim Raines, 99 speed. I'm going to try bunting one time with him. A little bit of a drag bunt to the right side if we can. See what happens. 99 speed. Is he going to beat it out? He does. Okay, so I'm glad we bunted. A home run now when I win it. And you best believe I'm stealing with Tim Raines, by the way. He's going to second base. He's getting in scoring position easily. Look at that. Now, we have the tying run in scoring position. A home run. And we beat the extreme showdown. 24 outs to try to hit one homer. How hard could that be? Thought we'd just do it right there. I saw that pitch coming in a little bit late. Smashed the PCI down. I thought we had it for some reason. I did. Uh, see, this is another one. I don't want to take a stupid risk. Yeah, I'm probably going to be safe at home. But we might not have been. There's a chance. In 22 outs now remaining... I know those can go quickly, but I didn't really feel like risking it there at all. Because Mike Trout just walked it off on a perfect perfect. Oh, that feels good. I'm so happy we didn't fail it against Roy Holiday, man. That was, that was like the most ice in my veins I've had this entire year. One out remaining. Jammed hit. And then Shohei hits his second homer. Let's go, dude. Oh, it feels good to beat the Extreme Showdown my first try. I'm so happy we didn't have to do it more than one time. And we get the icon, we get the ball in the pack, we get a chase pack 13. I think we got, what, 25 of the 100 points that we need for this program. Let me just double check, but wow. That feels so good, dude. Oh my goodness, I needed that. Oh, it's not even 25 points, it's only 20. So we are 20% of the way done, one-fifth. If y'all enjoyed the video, hey, feel free to drop a like. Maybe consider subscribing for daily uploads on the channel. And thank you as always for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Hopefully I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Wow, 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 wow.